ETW Universe, just laying in my $900 bed over here while the rest of you fanboys watching this are probably just laying on a mattress laying on your floor right now, but that's besides the point. I'm going to get straight into this. You see, there's a man here in ETW that I felt deserves another opportunity after he had an opportunity to become Havoc Champion, but some stuff happened that we're not going to get into. That man is the Japanese Beast. I want to give that man an opportunity. So at All Out Carnage, Mr. Outcast, the current ETW Elite Champion, will defend the Elite Championship in a triple threat match against Blackjack and the Japanese Beast. So stay tuned for All Out Carnage because it's going to be amazing. And all of you fans can simply just go fuck yourselves. finally back. Now I've been given the opportunity to fight Striker head on and now I'll have a second chance to fight Outcast for the Elite Championship. We're currently in a new era but once I retain my title we're going back to my era. The strong era. The era of heroes. Era of the strong. Hello, ETW Universe. Welcome to Riot tonight. And we have a huge show. As we have the two matches finally back at it on the weekly shows. And we're having Mr. Too Good dance his way in. There he is. Mr. Too Good is here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him. Coming with the good vibes. Dancing around the place. Look at him, Gary. And this will be the complete natural's first match back since returning Blackjack. And now, Mr. T you're jumping around the place and oh, what the jumping outside the trampoline and crumbling to the ground. Oh my goodness. Goodness me, Mr. Too Good. And now, the next person that's going to make the entrance Three, two, into the arena. One. It is going to be a f the former elite champion, former and well, inaugural and immortalized case holder. It is Blackjack. And man, I, I honestly miss this guy a lot. Well, it's finally, finally great to mine. see him again. After losing to Outcast, it was very questionable guy. to see what would happen to Blackjack. And the intentions are clear, and he's going to go at it at Outcast once again in a triple threat this time. And then Blackjack is now gonna go get ready for this match. You know, you won't suspect much, you already know Blackjack would win. The bell is rung, we have to see how he would win. And Mr. Tugwood's gonna get ready. He's gonna, it looks like he's learnt some karate lessons or something. Rushing in and tries to smack him, but oh, gets caught in the kick to the face. And now Blackjack 
Oh, wait. Mr. Tuga trying to chop him. Oh, wait. Mr. Tuga trying to get offense and another kick to the face. And now Blackjack punching him in the face and again and again repeatedly over and over. And now Blackjack getting Mr. Tuga up. And Mr. Tuga running to get that trampoline to create distance. Now jumping in and oh, face first onto the ground. Mr. Tugood missed with that dive and kick in the face. And then Mr. Tugood trying to attack him, but oh, gets kicked in the face again. And then again. Mr. Tugood not looking too good. And Blackjack fighting back. And Mr. Tugood stumbling around the place. And another kick sends Mr. Tugood flying to the ground on that trampoline. And now Blackjack attacking. And Mr. Tugood's trying to fight back, but... Blackjack's choking him. And Mr. Tugood, I think it was tickling him just then. Now Mr. Tugood's trying to attack him and Blackjack isn't even phased. He isn't even phased, man. Come on. And now Blackjack getting up to his feet, kicking him in the back of the head. And now stomping him. And now Blackjack getting up. And now throwing Mr. Tugood. And now Blackjack replies with a kick to the chest. And now punching Mr. Too Good. And now Blackjack he's gotta choke Mr. Too Good. He's choking him. He's got to choke Mr. Too Good in. Mr. Too Good not looking too good now. I think he's out of it. And Blackjack throws Mr. Too Good to the ground. And Mr. Too Good's trying to recover now. He doesn't even know where he is. He's saying wait. I think Mr. Too Good's just trying to Get his, get his bearings right. And now Mr. Tugut up to his feet, running away. And he doesn't want nothing to do with Blackjack. And he's got to go try to dive on him. But Blackjack just sidesteps out the way. And Mr. Tugut didn't even know where he was. And he got kicked in the leg. Mr. Tugut now not looking good. Oh, kick to the face. Blackjack's taking this to the outside. And Mr. Tugut tried to throw something at him. And Mr. Too Good trying to run away, but he's got a charge in a blackjack again, but... Oh, Mr. Too Good collapses, trips on the ground. And now Blackjack's got Mr. Too Good throwing him back in the ring. And Blackjack's back in the ring now. And now... Oh, we could go for the cover. And now two. And there it is. Blackjack wins the match. Blackjack picking up a bit of momentum... Going into a new era and all out carnage when he faces Striker Outcast in Kimono. Good job, Blackjack, and stay tuned for the main event. Hello, ET Universe. Welcome to the main event tonight. We have a revolutionary championship match. It is going to be. The Vigilante Mute, the Revolutionary Champion, going one-on-one -on -one against the Prodigy of Backyard Wrestling Striker. And these two have the biggest rivalry in ETW history. And Striker is going to look to try... And make more by being revolutionary champion. The. Well, if you don't know, I'll explain it to you. Striker. Their first big time matchup was at Elite Mania, where Striker won the Elite Championship. Their rivalry went on to go for the past few. Like a past few months after that. Until Last Man Standing at New Year's Showdown that same year. Where Striker won. Then the next notable time was on a right episode where Striker won to become two time elite champion. The third noticeable time was at Elite Mania 2, where Mute's career was on the line and where he finally beat Striker for the first time in his career. And so far. These two, I would want to say even, but really Strike is the one that's been dominating this rivalry so far. But you know that the tides can turn tonight where Mute can retain his championship. There's been other encounters, but you know I'm just, I'm just going to say the main ones. 
And these two are about to go at it once again tonight. Once that bell rings, there's no remorse. And there goes the bell. And these two going in for a lockup. And now Mute kicking Striker down, kicking him a knee to the face. And now Striker attacking with shots. And oh my, what a forearm. Lunged into that forearm across the face of Mute. And now Mute gonna go. Kick Striker, kicking the back of the leg. The, and now Striker attacking the leg. Chopping Mute down. And now Mute going over the drop kick. Flipping Striker through. And now Mute gonna attack Striker with strikes. Palm strikes, open hands. And now Mute gonna take Striker down. And now Mute drop kick to the back or a leg drop. Now Mute he's got he wants Striker up. He wants Striker up. And now Striker attacking him. And now Striker he's gonna go for a huge suplex. These two are burning it off already. Hey, get the finger out of the way. Get the finger out of the way. Kick out by Mute. These two going at it at the gates. And now Mute fighting back. Kick to the face. And now. Mute going to go jumping and kicking the midsection. And now Mute now th pushing Striker onto the other trampoline. And now Mute walking around the place. Kicking Striker. And now Striker kicks him with a. Well, kicks him in the midsection. Knee across the head. What a brutal, brutal move by Striker. The Project Backyard Wrestling and the Vigilante have no remorse. And it's proven already as these two have been going each other as soon as the bell rang. And now Striker gonna go in for a blockbuster. These two going up with new moves. Kick out by Striker. I mean, my apologies. Kick out by Mute. Now Mute kicking Strikers in the legs. And now kicking him in the head. Kicking him in the head again and again. Throwing Striker on the ground. Now Mute stomping the back of Striker. And again and again. The chemistry between these two are unmatched in ETW. And now Mute gonna go in multiple strikes to the throat. Throwing Striker back. And now Kimono. He's gonna get Striker up. Knees in the midsection. And now Mute gonna go for the DDT. No, Striker caught him in midair. What a slam. What a slam by Striker. And Mute's feeling it now. And now Striker is gonna get Mute in a headlock. Gonna slow that pace down. And he's gonna go. And Stop. take a time to breathe. Gonna go and attack him away. Mute with a sandal breaking the hold. And now Mute getting away. Striker, I think, somewhat impressed. But not happy at the same time. And now Mute gonna attack Striker. Knees in the midsection in the head. Striker now fighting. But Mute gets the advantage. Kicking down the leg. Attacking the throat. Throwing Striker back. Kicking the head. No, Striker caught it. Mute gonna go for a backhand. No, Striker also caught that one. And now going for a... What the taking him down? Going for a cover now. What a clean maneuver by Striker. Striker's not happy. He's frustrated. And now Mute crawling. And now Mute up to his feet. Same goes with Striker. Staring off at each other. And now Mute kicking Striker in the leg. Kicking the back of the head. And now Striker now with, with some open hands. And now Mute tries to go for some lockup thing, but Striker knees him and sends him to the ground. Stopping Mute right in his tracks. And now Mute's gonna try and choke Striker. Now pushing him back. Mute using the legs to keep him back. Kicking Striker in the head. Kicking him in the head again. And now Mute gonna go throw Striker. Oh, Jesus! What a nasty fool by Striker. And now Mute stomping him in the midsection. Stomping him in the chest. Jesus, that was brutal. Striker's feeling that one. And now Mute getting Striker up. Throwing Striker back in the ring. And now Mute getting up. Kicking Striker in the leg. Kicking him in the leg again. Stomping him down repeatedly. Attacking him in the face. And now Mute gonna go for... No. 
He's gonna go slam the leg down instead of going for the cover. Mute now gonna go for a leg drop. No, oh, it could have been a coup de grace. I believe that was a coup de grace by the looks of things. Right there, and here's the cover again. Kick out by Striker. Striker kicks out. Not happy. You can tell he's in pain. And now Mute thinking of what he needs to do next. Putting that sandal back on. Potentially going to throw it at him. And now Striker kicking the leg. And now Mute trying to fight back where Striker kicks him again. And now Striker last shot to the back of the head. And now Striker just sitting down. Looking over Mute. He's shaking his head. No, he's not happy. He wants that championship. And Mute's up to his feet. Kicking him in the back of the head. And now Mute collapses once again. And now Striker's in control. Mute now trying to get up, kicking the leg. And now Striker, he's gonna go get Mute up. And plants him in his place. Plants him in his tracks. One, two, kick out by Mute. Now Striker getting up to his feet. Gonna walk around. Mute struggling. He's gonna try and recover now while he's got time. Now Striker gonna charge in with a knee. No. Mute sidestepped. Drop kick to the chest. And now Mute gonna go. Get Striker. Kicks him in the head. And now kicks him in the head again. And now Mute gonna throw Striker back. And now he's gonna follow it up with a drop kick. Oh my. My punch is not a drop kick, but a double foot stomp. And now palm to the midsection, popping Striker up. And now Mute getting Striker up. Knees him in the back of the legs. And now gonna push him onto that trampoline. Now gonna follow it up with a kick to the head. A punching in the face. And now Mute, he's gonna try and choke Striker out. And now shots to the midsection. Now throwing Striker on the ground. And now stomping him. Mute now walking around. Throwing the sandal on the midsection. And now Mute going to go for the cover. Kick out by Striker. The Project Backyard Wrestling keeps the Revolutionary Championship match alive. And there's a reason these two are the, one of the best workers in ETW right now. Now Striker struggling to get up to his feet. Mute waiting to think of what to do next. What do I do next? Another drop kick. Oh, Striker caught him with a clothesline in midair. What a maneuver, what a reversal by Striker. And that is called scouting your opponent. A kick out by Mute. Striker thought he had that one in the back of Mute. Kick Striker back. Mute desperate to try and fight out of it. Striker is keeping that pressure on Mute. And now Mute going to attack him, throwing Striker down, pushes him in the leg. And now Striker getting up now. Knee by Mute. And now Mute going to push Striker back. And now Striker's going to charge with a kick. No, he goes for another kick. He faked it. He faked that first one, pushing Mute back. And now Striker's going to go and knee Mute. And now Striker, he's going to go for a power bomb. Power bomb. No, what is this? Oh, my God. What a tombstone. What a tombstone. I have never seen... What do you call that? A death, a reverse Death Valley tombstone? My God, that was impressive by Striker. I've never seen something quite like that in my life. And you Claymore with a Claymore out of nowhere. Striker trying to go for something, but Mute reversed into a huge Claymore, catching Striker off guard. How is Mute still in this? And now Mute pushing Striker. And now Mute Claymore again. Oh my god, this could be the match for his revolutionary championship. And Mute's done it. He retains the revolutionary championship. What a match between these two. And Mute picks up a second win against Striker. I can't believe it. Congratulations, Mute, for staying Revolutionary Champion. And he's looking good going into All Out Carnage.